I found myself having to stay away from soul music, delicious food and people kissing and anything else that reminds me of everything that I don't have. I keep going back to that bridge, that bridge in my mind called misery and the pain in my heart that keeps telling me to jump. And God who keeps calling me back from the edge. Every time I'm there, Jesus whispers in my ears and says, your depression has kept you in the passenger seat of your own life. When are you gonna let me take control? So I let him have it. And then moments later, I was happy again. See, I'm a firm believer in the walls talking because I often have conversations with them in my spare time. We usually talk about death and suicide. And then I hear Jesus whispers in my ear and say, practice being present. And then my eyes suddenly see the crowd of people in the room that I zoned out from. And then I was happy again. Then there are those days that I wake up every morning only because I have a good reason to. I go take a shower and then I look in the mirror and I see the walls that are blocking me from the love that was already present. And then I say to myself that I'm ugly. And that's why I'm alone. Then Jesus whispers to me and say, not even in your ugliness can you erase the beauty that was already there. You can only erase your realization of it. And then he goes on to say, beauty is not sexiness. Beauty is completeness. And even till the end of your journey when you believe it's just yourself, I'll whisper to you every time just to remind you that you're not alone and I'll never leave. And then I was happy again. And so it is.